Hello, everyone. Thank you for joining us today for our virtual tour. My name is Rie Yamaguchi from the Hadi Tourism Association, and I will be your guide today. I was born and raised here in Hadi. I have lived in Tokyo for four years during university, but came back because I love the quiet town of Hadi with its rich nature. I am very happy to be here today to introduce my favorite town of Hadi to our fellow friends from the UK. Today, we will be touring Hadi through video and live reporting to introduce you to the scenery, history, and traditions of Hadi. I hope you will enjoy this tour and discover the real Japan. I, if you have any questions, I can take them during social time at the end. So please send your questions to Q&A. Don't hesitate to ask. It's only 40 minutes, but please enjoy the sightseeing in Hadi while drinking, eating, or relaxing. Now then, let's get started and take a walk around Hadi via video. Surrounded by the sea and mountains, Hadi has a relatively mild climate throughout the year. Its main industries are agriculture and fisheries. The high quality water, volcanic topography, and soil nurture the rice, vegetables, and fruit trees while the warm currents from the south in the ocean produce a variety of marine resources. Hadi has a culture that dates back about 400 years with many relics that have been handed down to the present day. One of these is the Hadi ware. When the Mori clan, the warlords, who ruled the area at the time, established their headquarters in Hadi in 1604. They created a kilung for the Hadi domain to use, and that was the beginning of Hadi ware. Since then, Hadi ware has been used in the art of sado, Japanese tea ceremony, and cherished by the chajin, or tea masters, who are familiar with sado. There is also ancient architecture throughout the city, and you can take a stroll through the original landscape of old Japan. The town's original layout has been well preserved, allowing you to walk around the town using a map from that time. Hadi faces the Sea of Japan, and as many as 250 species of fish are landed at its port every year. This sheer number is one of the highest in Japan, a nation of fisheries. Off the coast of Hadi, the Sea of Japan is a treasure trove of fish, which can be tasted in each season. That's right. There is a real samurai in Hadi. However, this samurai with not a sword, but a spatula. Indeed, he is a samurai who makes Hiroshima-style okonomiyaki. In Hadi, where there's plenty of fish, kamaboko has long been a well-known specialty. It is made by grating fresh fish into minced meat placing it on a board and slowly baking it over a distant fire for a long time, resulting in a glossy skin with its signature elasticity. Hadi is highly regarded as a place where townscapes and buildings that clearly show the feudal social hierarchy of the pre-modern era remain. 
and where people make good use of these styles in their modern lives. In Hadi, time flows quietly and slowly. Come experience Hadi's culture and discover the real Japan from within. Thank you for watching. That was just a quick look. So if you would like to watch this video again, please go on YouTube and search for Memories of Hagi, Japan. Now, we will send the link to chat, so check it out later. Now, let's look at Hagi in a bit more detail. First, let's talk about the location of Hagi. This is a map of Japan. And this is Honshu. This is Honshu. And at the westernmost part of Honshu is lies Yamaguchi Prefecture. Hadi is a city in this prefecture. Yamaguchi is located between two of Japan's largest cities, Hiroshima and Fukuoka and it only takes about two hours by car from these cities to get to Hagi. Also, as you can see, Hagi is closer to the neighboring country of Korea via a straight line than to the Japanese capital of Tokyo. And it is a land of rich nature surrounded by the Japan Sea and mountains. Hagi is home to about 45,000 people on a piece of land that's about half the size of London. Next, let's take a look at how to get there from major airports with international flights. First, let's look at access from Tokyo. If you are flying from Tokyo, you can take a cab from Tokyo Haneda Airport to Hari via Yamaguchi Ube Airport or Hari Iwami Airport. And then take a shared cab to Hari. If you are using Kansai Airport, go to Shin Osaka Station and then take the Shinkansen to Shin Yamaguchi Station. From Shin Yamaguchi Station, you can take the bus to Hagi. Finally, from, from the nearest inf international airport, Fukuoka Airport, you can take a shared cab to Hagi in two hours and 40 minutes. Next, I will introduce the streets of Hagi. Hagi flourished as a castle town for about 260 years after the government opened in 1604. Since then, Hagi has been spare, spared from natural disasters and wars and many buildings and streets, including the ruins of the castle, samurai residences, temples, and shrines have been passed down without changing their original appearance. Hagi is said to be the starting point of Japan's modernization, and five of its assets, including the castle town, have been registered as World Heritage Sites of Japan's Meiji Industrial Revolution. In fact, the history of Hagi, or more broadly, the history of Japanese modernization has a deep connection with London and the United Kingdom. In the mid 19th century, Western countries that had become wealthy and powerful through the 
Industrial Revolution were expanding into East Asia. Japan, which had closed itself from the rest of the world for more than 200 years, was in great confusion over whether or not to reopen its doors. At that time, the Hagi clan secretly sent five young clan members, including the later first prime minister, Hirobumi Ito, to England, whether they became the first Japanese people to study, to study at the University of London. After returning to Japan, they contributed greatly to the country's modernization and left behind tremendous achievements in the cabinet, diplomacy, industrialization, minting, and railroads. In Hagi, many places related to them remain as historical sites. Also, as you stroll around Hagi, you will find Natsumikan or Japanese summer oranges peeking out from the top of the earthen world all around. This scene dates back to 150 years ago. At the end of the Edo period, the center of the domain was moved from Hagi to Yamaguchi causing the chief retainers to leave Hagi and the remaining samurais to lose their income. To save the samurais, cultivation for summer oranges began. These oranges were sold at high prices, supporting the economy of the town as a major industry until around 1970. As the cultivation of summer oranges continued, the grounds of the samurai residences used as summer orange fields remained largely unchanged. And the townscape of Hagi has remained almost unchanged from the Edo period to the present. Walking through the town of Hagi, you can see that each landscape has its own history. Every year from early to mid-May, the summer oranges bloom their lovely white flowers. At this time of year, the sweet scent of summer orange blooms would spread all over Hagi. The Summer Oranges Festival is also held in May every year. In Hagi, where many ruins remain, you should definitely try out a kimono and take a walk around. Wearing a kimono and walking around the castle town will take you back in time to the old days of Japan, where you might even run into a samurai. Kimono rentals are available in Hagi, allowing you to easily change into a kimono. Once you have changed into your kimono, why not experience matcha green tea, matcha green tea using Hagi wear? If matcha is not your thing, how about making Hagi wear? There are currently over 100 Hagi wear cleans in Hagi, with some where we can make our own original Hagi wear, such as teacups, cups bases, and so on. As a memory for your trip, why not leave behind your own unique one-of-a-kind piece? What do you think of this brief introduction to Hagi? Hagi's tourist attractions are concentrated in a relatively compact area, so you can enjoy sightseeing by cycling or taking a short hike. Also, the city is less crowded, making it a great location for taking pictures. We now bring you a live report from outside. Sorry. Hello, 
again, everyone. I'm now, now here in Kikugahama. It's very hot in Hagi today. With a daytime high of 90 degrees Fahrenheit. Today, I'd like to introduce you to this beach and unique cuisine only at Hagi, which is the perfect combination. Have you ever heard of onigiri, a typical Japanese family food? An onigiri is a piece of rice bowl made by dipping your hands in salt, grabbing cooked rice and wrapping it in seaweed. Onigiri are easy to carry around, and in Japan, they are often included in lunch boxes or taken on picnics, making them a friendly household staple. A typical onigiri is wrapped with seaweed like so. But there are also local onigiris de depending on the region. Haki's local onigiri is called wakame musubi. What do you think are the black speckles that are sprinkled on the rice bowl? It's actually called wakame or dried seaweed from algae. In Hag, there is a custom of eating sun-dried wakame that is finely chopped and sprinkled on rice. I have been eating wakame musubi since I was a child. The smell of the sea and the salty saltiness is so good that it makes me want to have more rice and it makes me feel so much better. When I have this wakame musubi in my lunch box, you can eat wakame musubi at restaurants in the city, but in fact, dried wakame like this is sold in the city, and you can easily make it yourself. All you have to do is to spring the dried wakame on rice. After you grab it, isn't that easy? Try making your own wakame musubi when you come to Hagi. Next, I would like to introduce you to chonmage beer, a local beer in Hagi that I like to drink when it's hot. Chonmage beer is locally produced in the city and comes in three flavors, pale ale, wheat, and alt. By the way, do you know what the name chonmage means? The answer lies in the picture of a samurai on the label. In fact, chonmage is a samurai hairstyle. The samurai of Hagi plays an important role in Japan progress toward modernization. The name Chomage was chosen to reflect this image in the local beer. Next, let's take a to Kikugahama. Sorry. Next. Next, let's take a look at Kikugahama. I'll first explain the location. Please have a look at this, at the flipboard here. Kikugahama Beach. Kikugahama is a beach about a 20 minutes walk away from the center of the city. The beach is a popular place for residents to take a walk, jog, or swim in the summer. I'm now standing at Kikugahama. The castle town and the ruined Hagi castle are each about a 10 minutes walk from here. This is a castle town where the, where, where the old street of Hagi remains today. And over here, we have the Hagi castle ruin where the Mori Road used to live. Both of these places are 
registered as World Heritage Site and a recommended sightseeing spot. <laughs> Take a look at the mountain over there. At the foot of the mountain, Mount Shizukiyama is where Hagi Castle used to be located. Mount Shizukiyama today, what remains are the castle stone wall and moto with the area now turned into a park. The view of Mount Shizukiyama from Shizuhama has long been a part of the hometown scenery for the people of Hagi. It is really nice view. As you can see, Kizuhama is just a stone's throw away from the castle ruins and the castle town, so you can stop by Kizuhama while sightseeing. And let's not forget the biggest attraction of Kizuhama, the sunset. Unfortunately, I will not be able to show you the view today as only have about an hour before sunset, but you can usually see a sunset like this here. The crimson red sky, clouds, and sunset covered Mount Shizukiyama are so beautiful that they make anyone stop in their tracks, being also a popular date spot. Watching this sunset with your Sweet heart, we share it be a rom romantic moment. Be sure to spend quiet time with your special someone at Kikugahama. And that's all for this report from Kikugahama. Don't forget to bring some wakame musubi and chaomage beer with you when you go on vacation on Kikugahama. And now back to the studio. Bye bye. Thank you, Saori, for reporting in midst of the heat. It's getting close to dinner time in Japan, so I'm starting to feel like having a drink and having some wakame musubi. Lastly, if time allows, I'll introduce some more of the delicious food available here in Haji. First of all, we have Haji's fresh sea urchins. The sea urchins of the coast of Haji have been caught since long ago in large quantities and are of excellent quality. From spring to summer is sea urchin season and you can enjoy fresh sea urchin with its mouth-watering texture and rich sweetness. The fact that you can eat raw sea urchin is proof of its freshness and while it goes great with a little soy sauce. We also recommend eating sea urchin on top of rice with soy sauce. Next up, it's Kamaage shirasu don. Shirasu is a kind of small fish that is boiled and dried in the sun. Put the shirasu on top of freshly cooked rice, seasoned with green onions, sesame seeds, and other con condiments, along with soy sauce, and you are ready to enjoy another delicacy. But wait, there's more. Up next, we have blowfish. They can be eaten in any way you like, sashimi, fried, etc. But in winter, when it's in season, hot pot is recommended. In the previous live report, we introduced local beer, but Hadi also has a thriving sake brewing industry. The topography and climate of Hadi nurture the rice and the elegant flavor and refreshing acidity, acidity of Hadi's sake is a perfect match 
for the hearty food they have introduced so far, making both food and drink great. Currently, there are five sake breweries in the city, with Hadi's sake being widely known. Last but not least, I'd like to introduce one more Hadi dessert. Here it is, soft serve ice cream. However, it's not just a, any soft serve. It's a soft serve ice cream made with summer oranges. This ice cream with the color of summer oranges has a slightly citrus sweet and sour taste, followed by a refreshing aroma, making it very tasty. In the town of Hagi, you can find summer orange soft serves at many different shops with each have which having its own slightly different flavor. It'd be a good idea to go around and try them all. I'd like to introduce more of Hadi's great food to you, but due to time constraint, constraints, I'll be moving on. I'd like to have around 10 minutes of Q&A time. If time allows, I'll try to answer as many questions as possible. Please send your questions to Q&A. Was there anything that you find interesting or intriguing during, your, during the tour so far? Okay, thank, thank you for your question. From Christine. The question is When is the best time to visit Hagi? Good question. It's so difficult question because um, the scenery the scenery differs from this differs from season to season and every season is very beautiful. But uh, if, I if I recommend, um, I think the autumn is the best season for sightseeing. Um, in autumn, the temperature is around six to eight degrees Fahrenheit. So it's comfortable to spend time. And um, some events are held in October, such as Kimono Week or Hagi Wear Festivals. Um, Kimono Week is an event which we can rent out kimono and wear kimono and walking around the castle town wearing in kimono. Mm. Everyone enjoy taking pictures with the town and in kimono. And also Hadi Wear Festival, in, uh, at Hadi Wear Festival, we can, uh, we can, we can get lots of Hadi Wear and we can see or we can see lots of how do you wear like, like dishes or teacups or vases. Lots of potteries are, uh, are placed in a one in a one place. There is um, so we can see lots of how do you wear and enjoy enjoy or buy take get some hardy wear. So I recommend in autumn is the best season to visit Hadi. Thank you for your question. I'd like to go on to the next question. Let's see. Uh, thank you for your question from Olivia. The question is, how is COVID-19 situation in Hadi and Japan? 
I guess everyone are interested in the in this topic. Let's see. Mm. Oh. In in Japan, it's been announced. It's been announced every day in last week that about 3,000 people get infected with COVID-19. In total, the number of infected people is almost 850,000. In Hagi, since November 7th, 2020, when the first infection confirmed, 15 people tested positive with a PCR test. Hagi City has started vaccine from the end of May. I sincerely hope that the coronavirus infection will be settled down soon so that you can come to Hadi with no worries. Thank you for your question. I'd like to go on the next question. So let's see. Uh, thank you for your question from Julie. The question is in the tourist office video, we can see the pottery. Is it possible to do a pottery workshop while visiting Hagi? Uh, yes, yes, it is. Yes, it is. Um, we, we can, we can, we can make the pottery, Hagiachi pottery in Hagi while you are visiting. Uh, And there are three options. There are three options for making Hadiyachi pottery, Hadi wear. Mm. The first option is drawing on Hadi wear. So you can draw on the tables or dishes as you like, and you can get it on the next day. And the other two options are making from the shaping. The one is handmade and the another one is using a wheel. And both options are required one month after you finish to make Hagi pottery. So uh, because uh, your piece needs to dry and make so it takes time and some and a few a few killings which can uh, a few feet a few killings can ship internationally so if you would like to try making hardy wear please contact us to hardy tourism As association in advance thank you for your question So go on the next question. Let's see. Mm. Thank you for a lot of questions. I'm very happy to, I, I can, I, mm, I'm very happy so uh, that because everyone are interested in Hadi, thank you so much for your question. Mm. Mm. I'd like to answer the question from Bernard. The question is, 
how long would you recommend to visit or stay in Hadi? Wow. It, <laughs> it, mm, I would recommend to visit Hadi or staying in Hadi for three days to 10 days. <laughs> <laughs> it's there are a lot of things to do in Haji. <laughs> it's so it it takes time. So um, um, let's see. So if you plan, if you would like to plan, if you would like to plan the plan to Haji, please please contact us to the. Tourism Association. Thank you very much. So I'd like to go on to the next question. Mm. Mm, let's see. So next will be the last question. Oh, good question. Thank you for verbally. Uh, the question is, what is the range of accommodation in Hari, please? Is it possible to stay in a ryokan? Thank you for your question. Uh, yes, it is. There are lots of ryokan, which has hot springs. So uh, I think more than more than 10, 10 accommodations has uh, hot springs. So if you'd like to try hot springs, let, uh, let, let us, let me know. So please contact us. Thank you very much. So it's almost time. Now then, it's almost time to go. I hope you all enjoyed this short virtual trip to Hadi. Thank you all so much. And be sure to stop by Hadi when uh, next time when you come to Japan. And feel free to contact, the, contact us, the Hadi Tourism Association when you planning trip. We'll be happy to help you plan a memorable trip, including information on how to experience the real Japan. We'll also be sending out an email newsletter with information on the charms of Hagi that we were unable to fully cover in this virtual tour. Survey will display on the screen after finishing this tour. So please feel free to register your email address. Thank you for joining. Thank you very much for joining us today. And we hope to see you all in Hadi. We look forward to meeting you all again. Thank you very much. Goodbye. Thank you. Bye. See you. Bye bye.